1993, first in News Best in Entertainment. Today, uh, back in the day, 1997, we hit the airwaves and we have never uh, failed to deliver on the mandates that we set upon ourselves. So, happy birthday. If you're celebrating with us, let us know via WhatsApp 020 But we get now into our uh, paper review segment. Um, Daily Graphic this morning reports that controversy... Ghanaians divided over new sexuality education. Election of MMDCs will stop winner takes all, according to local government minister Haji Ali Mahama. And six more soldiers appear in court over a plot to destabilize country. Utility tariffs go up. Ghanaian Times, plot against presidency. Six more soldiers charged for unlawful possession of explosives, arms and ammunition. One shot dead as Okada riders clash with police at St. Chi. And Information Minister rallies support for referendum on election of MMDC is clergy kicks against CSE in schools, but GES are fears of public. I'll share with you the GES um, press release as issued yesterday. Daily Guide. Six soldiers caged over coup plot. I left power very poor. Rawlings, Uferiata, Gajakbo, Rubbish Capital Bank Takeover, New Sex Education Curriculum, Courses Stair, Nana Grants, 30,000 scholarships. The Finder newspaper, vote yes on December 17 to pave way for election of MMDCs, Minister for Local Government there. And oil marketing companies worried about rising price of LPG. Give us 500 Ghana CDs per bag, some cocoa farmers tell Cocoa Board. And Nanabwachi comments Amir Ukudria for transforming the NYA. Six soldiers, including a woman, before court over alleged thwarted coup. My guest this morning, the MP for Lejokuku, is Dr. Bernard Okobo. He is here on the ticket of the NPP. And also lawyer Roxy Nelson, Dafia Mokbo, is the MP for South Dai. He is here mm. on the ticket of the NDC. Gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. Thank you, my brother. How it's are we? Yes, it's been a while. You have abandoned <laughs> me. So it's, you know, what more can I say? <laughs> <laughs> we, but, but how have you been? Yes, uh, very well. Mm -hmm. We needed to go back to our people right. to renew our mandates. Right. Uh, and, was, and congratulations. Thank to you, you my brother. Thank congratulations. You, my brother. Doc, how are you? I ask Kalebu. He uses legal powers to intimidate the delegates. But you, you, you use your medical powers to intimidate them. <laughs> you go and do pro bono at uh, LECMA every day. He does I, it, I think, know. twice in a week. Yes. Or so. no, you're also intimidating your yeah. competitors. You are trying to challenge <laughs> an, MP, an MP in power. Are you aware? Don't worry. 20, 12 January will soon be here. Uh, if you mention the primaries too much, yeah. it will lead to a lot of trouble. So, so we should leave it. Let's then. leave that discussion. Okay. We, have, we have left it. But uh, the Ghana Education Service yesterday, I'll share a bit of the. Uh, it's on the screen, Harriet. Is, is it possible to check it out? Uh, quickly, the, the press release issued by the uh, Ghana Education Service, and um, we'll, we'll check it out right now and read a po portions of it for you so that we can uh, all have a fair idea of what the Ghana Education Service wants all of us to know um, regarding the controversy that's come up about the uh, this CSE, and they say it is not to introduce the children to what uh, the public is talking about. Okay, that's the PRCs. Okay, this is the Ghana Education Services uh, press re press release, and it says for immediate release. GS response on comprehensive sexuality education. The attention management of the Ghana Education Service has been drawn to discussions on various media platforms on allegations that the GS is introducing explicit sexual information to children as young as four under the guise of comprehensive sexual education. The GS is surprised at the wild speculation and claims and wishes to clarify as follows. One, the new standard-based curriculum being implemented has nothing to do with LGBT issues, masturbation, or explicit display labeling of intimate body parts. Two, in all the training programs on the curriculum from simulation through master training to the training of the 152,000 kg to pieces teachers, there was no mention of any of the issues referred to above. Three, the CSC does not seek to throw out the advocacy for sexual abstinence, but rather seeks to reinforce it. The goal of CSC is to equip school children with age and cultural appropriate information to explore and nurture positive values and attitudes towards their sexual and reproductive health and to develop self-esteem, respect for human rights and gender equality. It further seeks to help students to make 
uh, informed decision about their health with emphasis on Ghanaian cultural values and norms. Member states of the United Nations are mandated to roll out CSE in accordance with their cultural norms and values. It is therefore wrong to insist that CSE, as practiced in Europe or North America, has the same structures and content as is being rolled out in Ghana. And uh, wrapping it up, it talks about the fact that, uh, indeed, on the 29th of April 2019, the Ghana Education Service wrote to the Acting Executive Secretary of the National Council for Curriculum and Assessment to request the insertion of the phrase within the acceptable cultural values and norms of the Ghanaian society in the third objective of page three of the CSE guidelines in circulation. The insertion has not been made yet and therefore GS has not finally approved the CSC guidelines being discussed on various media platforms. The GS wishes to assure the general public that no special sessions have been organized or will ever be organized by the GS to train students as advocates for sexual rights, let alone LGBT rights, which are culturally, socially, legally, morally, and religiously alien to Ghana. The GS is a state instant and all of that. And that's signed by Cassandra Chum Ampofo. She's the uh, head of public relations at the Ghana Education Service. Doc, I'll start with you on this one. So <clears throat> the, the GS says, we are not doing anything that you suspect we are doing. We are, we are actually staying within the remits. But here's a country that has a constitution that says, uh, if, you are, if you are 16 or under 16, yeah. and a man knows you, uh, like the Bible put it, or has sex with you, that's defilement. It's not the constitution, it's the criminal. The criminal, code. criminal, yeah. criminal, criminal, yeah. criminal yeah. offenses act, yeah. yeah. If you, if you uh, had, uh, had sex with, that's criminal. If you are a man, no matter your age, if you are known, you know, through the back door, you are sodomized, you've been sodomized, that's criminal as well. If you are acquire, acquiring a passport and you are under 18, you need a guardian to sign for you. Yeah, yeah. That is what we have accepted as. But this clearly is out of the remit. So when the GS says we are doing it in relation to our cultural norms and values and beliefs of the Ghanaian people, and then on the reverse, because by the time you get to SS2, you'll be 16. You are still not up for, for this training. But what, what is it? Uh, you know, first of all, let me say a very good morning to all your viewers, mm. to my brother, uh, the lawyer. Uh, you know, he's been using law to intimidate us in Parliament. Johnny, <clears throat> and then also to all... Uh, my people from Lejokuku and to the delegates. <laughs> they are waiting for the road. Yeah, yeah. You know, for the next three months, in all your presentations, speeches, Salute. everything, all your salutations. when you list the guests, you don't end up with our friends from the media. Mm -hmm. You add the, our, deli our most cherished delegates. <laughs> Johnny, you know what? No. You just stated that the law doesn't allow, I mean, sexual, mm. uh, to maybe sexual affairs and all that until you are beyond 16 right mm. 18 is the um, the one is the age for marriage right? exactly but 16 you can right now what happens if you never know what your inner orifice is used for assumption uh, you know no, yeah you know I'm just trying to bring your mind to okay. something mm. the fellow is allowed by law mm. to maybe engage in sexual intercourse Right. But what makes you think by 16 he knows what the organ is used for? I got Before the CSC came, didn't you? No, 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 no. no. I'm, I guess you're assuming okay. the fellow must know. Is that not so? Mm. That's, that's your assumption. Society teaches that. Soci doesn't it? And what is it society? Is it the parents, the church? or You assume they should be part, right? Mm. Good. Now, let me just um, state a few facts. I think the one who started this strongly is our uh, most cherished uh, lawyer, Moses Fuamin. Okay, uh, right. He actually made some comments that to teach five-year-olds, mm. <clears throat> the age emphasized mm -hmm. or underlined, mm. to teach five-year-olds sexual education mm. is, an, is an LGBT agenda. Right. That's lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender community mm. agenda. Mm. That, in fact, when you read his statement, mm. first of all, he uses the word, that's what he perceives. Okay. Let's pay attention to the words. Mm. To perceive something is, be, is to assume or try to believe based on what you've seen. Mm -hmm. Johnny, but it is possible it might not be factual. You are a lawyer. 
You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Now, I'll read a, a phrase in his statement, as reported by my, my joy line. Now, he says, and I quote, um, <clears throat> okay, sorry, this is by the writer. He believes there is an active strategy by the LGBT movement to get acceptance, especially in Africa, where resistance has been most strong. Mm. This is my joy line uh, 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 um, reported 27th of September 2019. Mm. The headline is Teaching Five Year Olds mm -hmm. About Sexuality is Clear LGBT Agenda. Mm. You know what is interesting? No. I am with him in the same boat mm. when it comes to resisting this uh, LGBT movement. I am not for same-sex marriage. Mm. Absolutely. That's me. We are in the same boat. Mm. And I am convinced beyond doubt that this government is in that boat. But there are people who want us to go on an aggressive agenda against an LGBT movement. We are not for homosexuality. But the fact that you don't see us on the streets uh, whipping those who have been caught mm. in that act doesn't mean we approve of it. What is the CSE supposed to cure? Good. Now, I'll read the objectives. Mm. I think we should stay to facts. I have the objectives mm. here. So I'll read the objectives so that um, listeners would have the benefit, those who have not had it. Um, yeah. So these are the objectives for the CSE. That's the comprehensive mm. sexual mm. education. Um, what happened? Did I miss it? All right. Okay, so Johnny, and you're reading from the guidelines. No, no yeah, right. from the yeah the mm -hmm. guidelines. Mm -hmm. yes. You have to forgive me. I think I just swapped it. So basically, mm -hmm. it's supposed to help uh, uh, children to have an understanding or appreciation of some of the mm -hmm. changes they mm -hmm. observe in their bodies. Mm -hmm. um, I've I've read and listened to comments that uh, actually more or less indicate that the teaching kids at, at the age of five mm -hmm. or four mm -hmm. might be too early. I mean, that is legitimate. Um, we, mm -hmm. we have to subject that to... Okay, so if you, if you can't find it, let, let me yeah. come to uh, council and then, yeah, and then when me. you find it, we'll, we'll exactly. let, but, let you... But forgive me. Okay, let him yes, come so that yeah, I can exactly, have Exactly, so you can find it in right. the council. Right. So this has generated a lot of controversy in the public. Um, the Catholic Bishop Conference says no pull it back, we don't want it. Um, some parents have said, look, you don't take over our jobs as parents. We are the ones supposed to be teaching uh, these children. What the GS already has, which is not a CSC, is enough for the moment. But the GS says, look, you are getting it wrong. We just want to shape the minds of these youngsters to understand a thing or two. What do you say? No, thank you. Let me seize the opportunity to say good morning to my constituents. Mm -hmm. Peki Bali Tongo. And and of course my cherished branch executives, <laughs> my delegates. Uh, my brother, um, the the problem, they're all of us. And when I read the headline, it says controversy. It's not about controversy, it's total rejection. It's not that a section of Ghanaians are in favor. It's only government, even some people in government are not in favor of this. The problem is that this has been done at the blind side of the people, mm -hmm. of everyone. I just discovered that the PPAG, mm -hmm. as a key st stakeholder in all these matters, with mm -hmm. the National Population Council, the National AIDS Control mm -hmm. Program, and uh, the National AIDS Commission, mm -hmm. as well as the GES, they have actually been holding stakeholder meetings which culminated in the launch of a manual right. in June 2017. With the, with the health ministry as well. Yes. And when you read that manual, MPs have been given copies. If you read that manual and the contents, I was shocked that the, the head of the population cancer yesterday denied this on a sister station in, 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 in metropolitan Accra. Mm -hmm that the document that's flying about in, in social media mm. is, is fake. Why? I was among the people who issued some of the first statements on this matter. I don't know if you've, you've, mm. you've seen right. mine. And then I took photographs of the content, relevant copies of this manual mm -hmm. and complained bitterly. Kabe says you're, you're crying wolf about nothing. No! 
these are existing documents that it are being relied on as we speak. What government has introduced the CS the CSE mm -hmm. that GES is seeking mm -hmm. for approval so that it can be implemented in the schools will be used in, in, in tandem with the manual that PPAG has produced. Okay. It is actually meant for the schools. And it is to be implemented along the formation of fan clubs mm. and health clubs in the schools. Okay, so that's the bigger scheme. That is the bigger scheme, and that is the scheme that has been rolled out. So it, so it is not as if we are crying about much ado. It is not about that. It's not a much ado about nothing. We are actually speaking to existing documents. And government is insisting, what, what baffle means that government is insisting in implementing this. So what are we getting ourselves into? A much, much bigger problem. They are telling you that, and I quoted the law very clearly, mm. our criminal code mm. prescribes activities, any sexual activity among children below 16 years, mm. whether with or without consent. Okay. And here we are seeking to roll out an educational policy that will practically teach the children how to experience this and the benefits from experiencing this. Already we are having difficulties in, in some deviant children who practice some of these things. Children who do mama and dada. Right. And, and now we want to officialize the, the the tutorials in these matters so is it possible we can prevent the children from seeking to practicalize it when their parents are out in the farm mm. or are out in at work when nobody's at home somebody says look if we want to advance as a country uh, the much talk about shrouding issues of sexual education secrecy i am i am, be a thing I, I am the getting past. there my question is, mm. what valuation has government done, has the Ministry of Education done mm. in respect of the existing methodology right. in teaching this subject? I've been to school. Mm. I left school not, not long ago. And we went through. Oko Boy is a medical practitioner. We were all taught this right. as young adolescents. I asked that question this morning. What's wrong yes. with what is currently being taught? Exactly. They and, should tell and what us. what does the CSE seek to cure? It doesn't seek to cure anything. It simply won't come and cure anything. There's no, there's no existing problem with the methodology that is in existence. What are your demands? Of, of Our demands are that it should be withdrawn. Mm -hmm. It's unacceptable. You see, it is the content okay. that is exposing the intent of government. Government can say anything. But the contents of the document <laughs> you are seeking to impose on us reveals what you want to do. How, if you, if you, ref, I, let me refer you to the guidelines that government issued. Mm -hmm. If you look at page 13, okay, it's talking about gender mobility. Mm -hmm. Gender mobility, do you know what that means? Mm -hmm. We are teaching our children mm -hmm. that if you are, if you are, if you are biologically male, right, and you want to be biologically female, you can actually m move. You can move across the biological lines and, and they are actually prescribing the taking of hormonal pills. In the, in the manual? In the manual. Hormones. You should take pills that will change your hormones. Is it this case? Well, he says that these guidelines they are in, working in tandem with the one that we saw yes. circulating by yeah, the PPAG one, but, but, and, and but, that they were working together see, in a team. Is, the PPAG document is not what the CSC captured is not anywhere in the CSC. Why? Who, who I have the that? guidelines here. That's who says that? I also have, have the guidelines. Well, I check page 13. You're preaching. Yes. 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 And I'm saying. And I'm done. And I'm saying. There's nothing on general. And I'm saying. Do you know who launched the PPAG manual? Johnny, are we discussing the PPAG manual? Why? The PPAG manual is part of the program. You read out the guidelines. It is part of the program. Council, wrap up for me. So who launched the manual? The Deputy Minister for Education, Barbara Isiasha. She launched it. So, so these are not matters that we are simply trying to criticize for the sake of criticism. Mm -hmm. These are serious matters. Johnny, and we uh, must be very careful as a country. Okay. Johnny, PPAG, Thank you very much. Mm. PPAG is not, uh, it's not like a government agency, mm. but they do a lot of reproductive education. Right. 
And they've been working with the GS. Exactly. They do a lot of reproductive. Most of the topics that Ghanaian street has taboos that most youth don't know about mm -hmm. and all that. In fact, PPAG, we've done, I did quite a number of programs on uh, safe abortions, mm -hmm. how to stay away from, uh, uh, what's the word, contraceptive methods and all that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, anybody who has studied the activities of PPAG mm -hmm. know that they engage in activities that are supposed to promote better health mm. and not to put children's uh, children or youth in a dangerous path mm. that manual is speaking about is a pph uh, pph what, what is it made for i've not gone through the entire manual mm. if a minister was there at their lunch mm. i'll not even condemn that because i've worked with them before but uh, if he had brought the manual, I would have been happy so that we look but, but at the, man, the manual is all over social no, I'm media. Coming, no, no, I'm coming. You see, graphic but, images. You see, you see, but what is sad mm. is that people pick a PPH manual and try to juxtapose it or try to superimpose it on a CSE uh, content. Is it, is, it, is it because the GS was silent? No, no, no. Please, oh, oh, the oh, manual. See, that, see, that, I'll, I'll, oh, I'll, I'll see, allow him to. See, let's be clear. You mm. see, CSE is what Ministry of Education has worked on and it's actually going through a process to come with an approved textbook. Okay. Let's let's hear the objectives and yes, what the yes, CSE yes, is, yes, going see, to, is going I'll to... I'll read the objective. So, respectfully, with mm -hmm. all respect, mm -hmm. people should not really try to swap the two. Okay. They can discuss content of PPAG manual and I'm ask about swap. appropriateness. I'm not swap. And I get what I'm saying. He, he, but, he didn't swap. He oh, said, right, he right. said that yeah. The PPAG has been working together with, with the GES and another body. No, no. And they, they were having, the they 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 having yeah. close. So, and yeah, and yeah. then they had the launch. No, no, together. no. Yes, no problem. If you make PPAG the subject, we discuss the content. It will be discussions on. It's more or less an NGO. Okay. That is an NGO. It is. Yeah, exactly. It's an international NGO. Exactly. The so plan you, period. Yes, yes. So we, are, we would have been discussing. An NGO and its active how it uh, collaborates with what government agencies. Mm -hmm. That's and fantastic. I link, you, you see, you finish. Oh, you yeah, finish. Because what, no. what it did was yeah. to create a link. All right. To all that. right. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's hear the objective of the CSE. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So let's quickly look at the the objectives. Uh, why is my phone misbehaving? Your phone right. is old. You need to change it. Oh, no, the phone is oh, not Johnny, big. Johnny. I think <laughs> it's sabotage. <laughs> Johnny, uh, Johnny is sabotage. There are new phones in town. Oh, you, you, Johnny. You are still using an old phone. I thought Maybe. you spoke about NCA. Oh. <laughs> the, the NCA is in your uh, phone. Too. What's this? <laughs> Johnny, I just... Or okay. The communication service tax has, has affected oh, no, 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 your no, no, data. No. In fact, right. today is right. 1st October. Yeah. Hey, why yeah. you guys should be patient first with me? 1st October, 9%. Oh, but I gave you a lot of time. You still can't find no, it. No, I, I was actually there. Just when you then what happened? All right. Yes. So okay. objectives. Yes. Yeah. yes. So yes. as outlined by the UNFPA, hmm. 2009, the objective of the proposed CSRH, that's Comprehensive Sexuality and Reproductive Health Education, hmm. is to help young people a hmm. acquire accurate and reliable information on sexual and reproductive health and rights. Hmm. That's a and what rights and rights. Yes. Okay. B, develop skills such as critical thinking, communication, and negotiation, self-development, and decision-making, sense of self, confidence, assertiveness, ability to take responsibility, ability to ask questions and seek help, and empathy, and C, nurture positive attitudes, and values, including open-mindedness, respect for self and others, positive self-worth slash or stroke esteem, comfort, non-judgmental attitude, sense of responsibility, mm. and positive attitude toward their sexual and reproductive health. Now, Johnny, let me state a few facts. Oh, I'm coming. Let me state. Now, someone posted something on Facebook mm. and attached some pictures from some of this, the PPH manual. Now, the head of the National Council for Curriculum and Assessment mm. in this country, mm. uh, the gentleman's name is mm. Prince Hamid Ama, mm. doctor, PhD, said something. He said, he responded and mentioned that they, as a National Council, have not approved any textbook as we speak today. So why was it launched? Good. What they had. So why was it launched? Oh, please, I said, don't mix the two. The CSE, I can discuss content. Mm. I'm speaking about the CSE, not the PPH okay. manual. The person attached the PPH manual pictures. Okay. 
and connected it to CSC, and he said that is not there. That mm -hmm. is not for them. And this is what he said. They are still in the process. They are receiving um, 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 content from authors, mm -hmm. and they will do the assessment. And guess, it is only the National Council for Curriculum and Assessment mm -hmm. that goes through textbooks and approves them before they are yeah, used. There's, there's a PTA in no, every school no, in, this, in this country. What no. level of consultation, no, no, for example, oh, has been held in PTA? No, no problem. Come. You're, you're going to teach my children. No, 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 please, please. Oh, oh, no, 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 I'll give you a little yes. time. Because we cut his first time. And you so. are not in government. We are in government. No, no, no. It's not about really? government. Okay, <laughs> not See, on the National Council for Curricular and Assessment, on the council, are the following organizations. Catholic Bishops Council. The Christian Council. Federation of Muslim Councils. All these bodies are on the National Curriculum and Assessment uh, uh, Body. There is no way mm -hmm. a textbook that preaches, engages, and supports homosexuality can pass with these people on. This is what the, these if, are the words if, of the if, Dr. If they are talking, if, if they are talking, yes. If these bodies are talking, yeah. then perhaps yeah. it should raise a know what? question you know what? that yeah. maybe the consultation you know yeah, yeah. was not yeah. thorough you see, enough. Don't you, you, you know think? What? I've listened to them. Mm. I just listened to one of the heads, I think the Christian Council. His statements was had a prefix. He said, if right, conditional clause. Excellent. If any textbook comes out and its content supports homosexuality, they will fight aggressively that particular uh, agenda. Dr. Kobo, that, listen. That segment is pregnant. Exactly. Myself sitting mm. here. The, I'm on the same tangent. If any textbook comes out. To support and preach homosexuality, it will be resisted strongly. So, and, exactly. So, so children are going yeah. to be taught their sexual and, and, rights. And, and, and I'm Johnny, coming. Yeah. Children are going to be taught their yeah. sexual rights. Yes. Is it a right of the one giving sex or the one getting sex? Johnny, um, let's be dispassionate on this issue. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm dispassionate. No, no, I'm, I'm not saying that. No, no, I'm, not saying. I'm saying that. Yeah. For example, it talks no, 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 about uh, accurate yeah, yeah. And no, rights no. and negotiation you know, and sense of no, self. No problem. And I'm, I'm saying I'm, the I'm, children who are going to be taught their yeah, rights, yeah, is yeah. it the right Johnny, of the one giving sex or the one taking it? Johnny, no problem. I've written a few things here. If you look at the CSE, the guidelines, it even stated the year, the years, the kids, the right. years they belong to and what they must know. Mm. And by the way, it's not a stand alone subject. It's a the guidelines or the those things that ought to be captured in terms of education must find a way into RME, that's religious and moral education, mm. in life skills, social studies, and other subjects. So it will not be standalone. But quick one. The uh, RME oh, has oh, been taken oh, out of the no, there's, no, there's no RME now. Re let's shelve it. Thank you for the reminding. But it's not going to be standalone. It's going to be incorporated into other subjects. But the bottom line is that those that are agreed on in terms of the subjects must be taught at the end of the day. So it's not that it's not going to happen or going but to. I be asked a question. Yeah. I no, I'm coming. Question. I'm cutting. No, no. Now, so wrap up. So he yeah, can I'm also wrapping up, it. Johnny. If we are talking about the appropriateness of the age mm. to receive a particular information, that is legitimate. Our kids are our future. Let's discuss that. But the other extreme is that: Do we want to take a position that kids should never know anything? about their body changes sexuality until maybe they are 16 years that is something we must also it, ask it is it is uh, the present curriculum yeah and which is what way. i, I yeah. learned yeah talks about uh you know when you're a female and you're growing up yeah, to a certain yeah. age yeah. your, your yeah. hips will widen yeah, your yeah, chest exactly. will broaden you get you get yeah, yeah. you get no, no, no. it talks about so yeah, now the, the question that yeah. i actually counsel yeah, yeah. reiterated is what is wrong with yeah. what is presently being johnny, taught you know which is why we need this new yeah johnny this one is not an entirely new one as in it's not a case that nothing in it has is not in existence as we speak mm. but when you watch what is happening with the new curricula it's not only with uh, this CSE with all subjects mm. we are trying to find a way of restructuring mm. so that it suits the 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 how do you call it the current age in which we are mm. and also conforms mm. with some <clears throat> international standards mm. Johnny um, to wrap up let me say that there are two groups of people. Okay. There are those who have engaged in deliberate mischief or mm. misinformation mm. to create discontent for the government. Okay. There are those who genuinely have issues with the appropriateness of the age. Mm. Let's look at specific issues like, should this particular subject start at this age? Mm. If not, should we start at a later age? Mm. We are all for such discussions. Okay. But it is on when someone pulls pages in a PPA document, mm. PPAG document, and tries to create the impression.
that this is the CSC textbook mm -hmm. that we are talking about. And by the way, I have met people who have come to me claiming that they have breast lumps, young ladies in the hospital. They don't know how to do breast examination. Mm -hmm. In Ghana, people who are of age. That is no No, 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 oh, oh, please, respond. Okay. Don't it's, so, it's, so, so, another example. But well, let me, let me yeah. uh, Dr. Park sent me this. He says, as a nation, is yeah. there a problem that the CSC seeks to solve? Yeah. What is the problem? What is the motivation? And did we ask some external bodies for help? Can you believe that as a member of the Education Committee of Parliament, I only became aware of this CSC in the public space? And how is it possible that such a program with implications for families, our culture and traditions be implemented without consultation? Consulting parents, cultural custodians, as well as moral society. I've been swamped by calls and messages on this issue. The CSE must be immediately suspended. He's a, a deputy ranking member of the Education May, Committee of Parliament. Is this is my own APAC. Yes, who, yes. Maybe that time there were serious. No, no, it's just yesterday. No, 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 it's just it's yesterday. yesterday. So yeah. he's now he's saying that even for them as Education Committee members in Parliament yeah. who have oversight responsibility. Yeah. He only heard about it in the public space, and that's not good. Well, if, if that is the case, it's not too pleasant. I, I hope that is not the situation. But May I, I, mean, I don't Okay, have counsel, yeah. now, take a bite so we can yeah. switch. Now, he read a document okay. that clearly suggests that this is being imposed mm -hmm. on us by, by, the, by the multinational agencies, okay. UNFPA, UNESCO. Right. Now, what is the meaning of self-assertiveness? I, I am biologically male. I am biologically female. Mm. What what is the ignominy in this? What yeah, is the yeah, humiliation the sense in that? Of self. So these are you feminisms to introduce certain other things, certain other values. He says the international standards. What is the international standard now? That it is good to be gay. That it is good to to be publicly declared as a lesbian. Mm. That mm. those are the international standards they want to foist on us. Look, this CSE has failed in so many places that it's been introduced. Okay. Even in America, there are some states that it's failed. Okay. When when the constitutional when the constitutional committee uh, constitutional legal and parliamentary affairs mm -hmm. we visited Canada last year November, mm -hmm. it was a topical matter in Canada. It okay. was then being introduced. Mm -hmm. A section of Canadians were against it, even in Canada. Dr. Jinapo sends a message. He says, well, the issue of the CSE has not come before NACA. Yeah. He serves on that board as well. So yes. the key stakeholders have not been brought up to speed. Do you get where we're going? Now, now let, me, let me do this. Government is assuming mm. that every teacher will follow the guidelines okay. that they have provided. But we know that that is not correct. Or it is not true. Mm. It's not every teacher who will, do, who will teach in, a, in accordance with the methodology they are trying to foist on us. Right. Some who want to be deviant. We know that. Some will try life. to be overly of innovative. Of course. Mm. And there are videos already in social media depicting that, even though this has not been officially inaugurated. Mm. So that is the problem. Now, he makes another point that the, the, the curriculum review committee is here to produce textbooks. Right. They've just reviewed the curriculum for basic schools. Right, that's true. And textbooks are here to follow. Mm -hmm. But they have instructed teachers to teach because schools have reopened. Right, they, they, the government says that the manual that was given to the teachers at the training is the enough to hold them yeah. until that time. Ex well, the teachers have said that is not enough. Exactly my point. Mm -hmm. So they don't have textbooks. Right. So it shouldn't say that textbooks will follow these guidelines. It won't. Because they have the guidelines depict clearly what you should they do. They say textbooks are in print. That's what the message yeah. is. Why? So you, you don't have textbooks for the main subjects that are being taught. But government is saying that they have textbooks for CSE. Is that what they are telling us? That a manual that hold on. That a manual is sufficient to teach other subjects. Who has said so? But a guideline that they have produced and are about to implement is not sufficient that textbooks are being printed. Who is the author of that textbook? Oh, but you see, it so, so it is not correct what you are saying. You, you want to explain your position away. Mm -hmm. But the reality is that you have goofed. Government has misstepped completely in this uh, matter. Johnny, mm -hmm. I, see, I am not addressing you <laughs> as, as a person. To, yes, I am saying that as, a, as an institution, as, an institution, mm -hmm. as, as, as a government, government. Mm -hmm. Ministry of Education, GES, they have, they have they've taken a big gamble in this matter. And they shouldn't.
Johnny. Well, um, I think. Look, it, it, uh, it think is not good. It is not good that Johnny. that the yeah. key the key stakeholder and these are professionals. What? And Johnny. I wish I can add this. Johnny, Johnny. Yes. Okay. Sexual rights yeah. of children. Who says? Look, we have the Children's Act. That, so that's what I'm asking, and that's what I'm asking. Who says children do the, not the have right, rights? The rights, no. Is it my right, me giving jo sex? They are right. That sex. is why when you are a child, your parents acting instead of you in local Ga parentis. Ga guardians. Yes. People and, act on behalf of children. And, and this morning, I raised that question. I said, look, if you're if you're a child under 18 and you need a passport, somebody must must sign and say this is this is me. Uh, looking out for you because they, it's considered that the person is younger than 18 and does not have what it takes to make that decision for themselves. Johnny, why um, then do we introduce Johnny, them to their rights I, I, I just, before they turn? Johnny, I just listened to some folks who try to quote statements from the Crystal Council mm. that even the Crystal Council is against this and they conveniently took away the if mm. that if this comes out and we see that it's going to promote homosexuality, we'll fight it. Why did it take the if? It has it has a two leg. It has a two leg. Hold on. These are rhetorical see, approaches. It has it has a two leg approach. If it's conditional, yeah. If it comes out, yeah. If could also mean that well, because they have been left behind, and as the evidence is no, no, coming, out, Johnny, Parliament has no, been left Johnny, behind. Naka has been left you, you behind. Have, Johnny, could they have also been left no, no, behind in the be, consultation you have to process? Be calm. Um, no, I'm, are, I'm calm. Uh, yeah, some are rhetorical. Okay. You know. Now the point I'm making is that. To ask about appropriateness of age to receive a particular information is legitimate. Right. Kids, they are our future. We must discuss you them. You have said that before. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, the second point also is that if all the statements or things captured in the guidelines, like I read the objectives, mm -hmm. are nebulous to our hearing and not too uh, clear, mm -hmm. to ask for clarity mm -hmm. is also germane. But what I am not happy about or is not well is when people make extrapolations you, you have you have made this point already. Exactly. So thank and, 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 you, thank you very oh, much. Johnny, no, no, oh, but you're repeating yourself. Oh, you're, you're, we, we need time to do. I, I know, no, 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 no. no. I will allow you emphasis, to repeat. Emphasis. I will allow you. No, no. You can't wait, go, and, no, no. go and make a statement, no, no. and then we will come and cover and make no, emphasis. There, you, you can't you take all the time. You had Hollywood. Look, the the bottom line. The bottom line. Okay, let me ask you this question. The bottom line is that the key stakeholders are coming out and saying. No, we I, have not been spoken um, to, Johnny, um, and these I, are the professionals. I don't, Dr. I don't, Dr. Jinapo yeah. is at the child, uh, the child education unit yeah, at the and University and of and Education, and Winneba. And Dr. Park. Dr. Park is on the education committee. Johnny, what um, is happening? Yeah, yeah. Lack let of me, consultation. Let me say that I have worked with a few institutions, and I've realized that sometimes when institutions are convinced that what they have on paper is good to go, they move. I don't have all the facts. I don't really know whether really uh, stakeholder consultations have not been done. Mm. But if that is the case, that they've not been consulted, it is not too pleasant. It is not well. Okay. Now, and, and Johnny, it's not well because, that's, I'm making an assumption, if mm. they've not been consulted. It's not well because you can have a document that looks fantastic, mm -hmm. but when you discuss with people, the local situation and everything, mm -hmm. it's possible that the whole program you have can change. Okay. So, Johnny, really, I don't have the facts whether there's been stakeholder consultation. Maybe okay. the education ministry mm -hmm. can tell us about the consultations they've had. You see, particularly okay. when yeah. the PPAG manual was launched three years ago, mm -hmm. and it's already in the system. But also the manual is, is, is an NGO. Oh, okay. It's not a government manual. Well, but, but, uh, but, but council is also yeah. saying yeah. that, well, I mean, they've been working see. with them because they have... I mean, they and they, I'm they, a member they, of, the, of, the, of the Parliamentary Population Caucus. So all these, these are not uh, approved... Uh, this. So, but but PPAG brings. I mean, I'm sure the GS oh, goes to them for. Well, let's switch. Let's Johnny, switch the topic. Are you kidding it's me? It's not understanding your Yes, are you kidding me? <laughs> Yesterday, no, 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 no. It is ah clubs. Oh, 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 you know. This, you said clubs. You didn't mention. No, population caucus. Who approves this caucus? Why? We even have a budget approved by the speaker. Oko, oh, all these things are. Yes. How about how about the interpol? Are, 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 are you claim you are not? See anything happening? Okay. Yesterday, yesterday the PP, uh, I said the PPAG. Sorry, <laughs> the uh, Public Utilities Regulatory Commission (PRC) it brought out a notice that said press release on the fourth quarter 2019 tariff adjustment. Following a review of electricity and water tariffs for the fourth quarter 2019, which is from October to December 2019, the Public Utilities Regulatory Com Commission wishes to announce for the information of consumers of electricity and water that there have been an upward adjustment of the existing uh, tariffs. The increase is 5.94 uh, on electricity 
tariffs and 2.22 on water tariffs across board for all customers uh, cast categories uh, effective October 1. That's today. Uh, so your prices are going up. Um, automatic adjustment formula a, 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 is done with the following factors in mind. The Ghana CD dollar exchange rate, inflation, price of crude oil and gas, fuel mix, that's crude oil, natural gas and dis, uh, distillate fuel, generation mix, that hydro and thermal, power purchase costs, demand forecast and electricity cost, a major cost component in water production. Gentlemen, let's start the conversation this way. Today, somebody called it the uh, increment day because the communication service tax is on today and PRC has announced that water and electricity will go up. Okay. Why, why are the people being burdened with so much to pay. Let's well, start with. Like, no, I'm starting. You are, you are in government. That's what I'm starting. the first one with me. Are you going to start with But he, he made a last your claim to fame that, that you are in government. His, Even before we came on set, we were. It's okay. It's just fairness. Okay, you started with me. Okay, it's okay to start. You are in government. So tell us. CST, PURC, somebody called it World Increment Day. Why are you burdening the people? Jenny. If I, over. I can I can see that you like it when I set the moment uh, the pace. But uh, you are in government. Yeah, so yeah, incumbent is good. You have information. Except uh, in a few cases where <laughs> taxes have been discussed. Yeah, Johnny, you know the the communication service tax mm. we had yeah, the last time the budget was read. Mm. We had the some increment in the tax. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's 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 fair to mention, Johnny, that when uh, we've had an increment since its introduction during President Kufo's era. Mm -hmm. There was some increment, I think, is it Prof Mills or mm -hmm. um, GM's time? Mm -hmm. And then we've also had an increment. Um, let me just also remind viewers that almost automatically, every year, uh, workers sit at the table, fair wages and salaries commission, and there's an increment for um, government, uh, those on government... Um, right. Uh, minimum wage. Yes, minimum wage. There is a reason why they do those things, is to um, take into consideration inflationary pressures. Mm. Uh, every year, they, when they state an inflationary figure, what it means is that your purchasing power goes down by right, some level. Right. So it's only fair that there is an increment. This increment will take uh, place in January. Yeah. Uh, for our pockets. Yeah. But then the bills now, have gone up. I was just stating the October. fact that annually mm. the increments are discussed. And I'm saying that yeah. these increments will take care for our pockets in general. No, I agree. But then yeah. the increments for our bills have started uh, in yeah, October. Yeah. My point is not really about the times they are occurring, but just to let viewers appreciate the fact that why is it that automatically we do the we discuss all the time. Yeah, but, but if you are linking yeah. it to it and saying that, well, if we increase the bills, then you will increase your pocket as well. You are going to increase the bills first, and I'm not, I don't have the, the, the same value for my pocket. No, no, I was, that's a, I was actually saying. stating that fact to address the issue of inflationary pressure. Okay. The fact that even as a government, if all your inflows are at a particular rate, mm -hmm. and you are getting it in cities, because you are in a global market, there will come a time when the same amount will not be able to do things that you used to do. But um, quickly, um, Johnny, mm. you know, this is a government that has um, been very candid mm. with uh, the management of the economy. Okay. We've, we've done our best to make sure that we, we fix um, 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 critical areas like the banking sector. This morning I was listening to the news that assets in the banking sector have improved tremendous, tremendously. This is a government that has introduced programs to try to bring some relief to the... How does that solve the water increment and electricity well, increment? Let me address CSC, see the communication tax. I'll okay. address the water and electricity. We, we don't have too much time. All right. mm. the, the point I'm making is that all the programs that government is putting in to bring relief, like this, um, those who are unemployed, the NAPCO, the money that they are paid, all that we are doing with free, such as invested billions in a year, all that we are doing with paying for the energy sector to make sure our lights are on, and all that. It takes money, uh, 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 Johnny. And mm. I've had people, including myself, who want most of my roads mm. to be handled and at, at, uh, um, addressed. It takes money. Government will not take any increment from um, 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 citizens for the sake of taking money from them. But it's just to ensure that we are able to handle a budget and a program. So somebody raised a conversation yeah. about uh, leakages for Ghana Water Company yeah. that's wasting away and illegal connections as well for both Ghana Water Company and ECG. Yeah, and um, they say, look, 
PURC should be able to tell them to go and fix those ones yeah. rather than transferring yeah. everything onto yeah. the consumer to come and pay. Just like transmission losses with ECG. Mm. Anyone who raises issue about efficiency and trying to work on leakages, both at uh, energy sector and the water sector, mm. is germane. Okay. But, but it does not also mean that if they have issues with their inflows in terms mm. of production cost mm. and all that, mm. we should not try to see a way to you know, improve on what comes to them, the revenue. Okay. And Johnny, let me wrap up by saying that, honestly, if you look at the water, the, the levels you pay mm. monthly, and you try to purchase water mm. from sources like those who sell, mm. you realize that really you, you, you are not paying extreme uh, figures. Okay, you know? thank you. Uh, Council, are you overburdened? Excessively so. My branch executives. Allow, branch allow, branch allow him. We, don't, we, are, we have run out of time, yes. so I'm trying to. Now, I, I, want, to, I want to demonstrate this. Fewer prices go up now unannounced. You wake up almost every three days, you get, get to the pump, and prices of fuel mm. have gone up. Doc knows this. Gas this will go up. Dear, dear, dear. Now, electricity bill mm. is going up. Water is going up. Mm. Communication services tax mm. is has has gone up today. So it means if you buy ten CDs, you are getting nine CDs one, one, one exactly one. Okay. nine percent. Now and it is shocking mm. that before PURC announces this increment, do you know the factors they claim they are they are considering? Mm. They are considering the dollar exchange rate. Right. They are considering fuel the cost of fuel mix. Right. They are considering price of crude mm -hmm. they are considering generation mix hydro and thermal, thermal right. of power they claim they are also considering power purchase cost cost of purchasing power mm. then demand forecast of we the consumers mm. then elect the cost of electricity right that's in water production so how does cost of electricity all right mm. separate from Power purchase cost. That's for Ghana Water. Ghana Water says they need. Uh, <laughs> I agree. Yes, but but you you can't do this. Mm. This is this is to hoodwink us into believing that really there are some of some real existing cost elements mm. in, to factor into it. Okay, but he, he don't tell us that you are increasing power because the cost of purchasing power has gone up. That's what they are telling us. Mm. Where are you purchasing the power from? <laughs> you understand it's as if ghana water is saying i'm increasing the cost of water because the the cost of water has gone up but you are producing the water so how did it go up exactly so these things we we we, we can the, read the, the, we can read Oko, Oko says we government will not we necessarily read. bedding the yeah. people we can read and, and government it. needs to do good things so they need the money to be able to do what what have they done with 80 billion they borrowed 80 billion so far now it is even let, 85 let, let billion let me start listing please, them please please please, please. Oh, please. But you don't allow, allow it, it, it's, we're, we're run out of time mm. ah. you can't uh, demonstrate anything Jenny. physical and i want to demonstrate you know allow you are pushing into consumables thank you thank you very much consuming the thank you dr bernardo Boy is a member of and parliament today, for Lejokuku constituency. He's been here on the ticket of the NPP. And uh, <laughs> Roxy Nelson, the Fiamma Kwa, is a lawyer and a member of the um, the NDC's communication team. He's the MP for uh, South Dai, and uh, he hopes to be in parliament one more time along with him. Where home is Jubilee House? No, home is Mima. Is it a good And in fact, I won't give you. Okay, we'll see you after the break.